Hi Levi, it's David over here at Handy's downtown. Um, just like we talked about yesterday, what I will do in this uh, particular YouTube video here is just kind of point out some of the particulars in this car. Uh, if you're not ready to, to pull the trigger on this one, you might see something like this come down the pipeline, so I'll discuss that as well in terms of what you know makes this stand out or what have you. Um, starting as far as condition stuff, I think there's only really one blemish on this car overall. Most of the stuff we're gonna get in always going to have these new tires so just like the tucson before that we had the last uh, video for you on you're going to see a lot of the same measures of care body is really in good condition overall a couple little like pucks here almost like a winch or um, ice scraper or something maybe and a really small little ding here in the back so otherwise i mean for what it is, 71,000 miles on it previously, and I want you to kind of take a look at this side as well, that way you can see the body's really, really straight on it. It's in good condition. The big thing on this one is really more the, the lack of mystery inside the, the components. 71,000 miles, clean Carfax, one owner, and this was purchased new from our uh, new Toyota dealership and serviced the entire time with our uh, service center up there until it was traded in. Uh, at the same dealership. So in terms of a lack of mystery, this is a great, great, beautiful uh, option. Low mileage short you'd usually see. Just in case you haven't seen a bunch of these, let's continue to go over some of the features that you'll find on this. The rear windshield wiper, the swinging back door, and you'll have that until 2013 until they change the style of the RAV4. Plenty of space, and you'll see these have a little option here to actually have a handle that'll pull down the seats there so if you had a big box or something you could get that through lots of nice storage on these you're going to have a co compartment right there to be able to put something in and the really big well of storage comes from this section that you could fit a lot in there and that's also you know mostly to do with the fact obviously that we have the spare tire on the back here of these particular models um, actually i'll take you on this side because this has the seat in the back just so just a real quick to show you the leg room i mean i know you've seen plenty of pictures of these things and everything but Good space, good leg room. You can't adjust those back seats for your comfort. And in the front, you know, not gonna be overzealous with features, but these come with some kind of cool little things and open and close there with a two glove box component. Of course, you have air conditioning, all that kind of good stuff. Anything in this particular model year is gonna have the auxiliary input there in the middle console so you can plug in your cell phone, play music or charge it or whatever you're looking to do there. This particular one, uh, on top of all the other good stuff that it is, is also going to have an aftermarket car starter that does work that uh, is on the vehicle. We're not going to price vehicles based on having those components, but we're also obviously not going to take them out of it either if it does work. So in this particular instance anyway, you have a working car starter and again all the other good stuff. Very clean inside and uh, I see less of the blues than I do the silvers and things like that, but uh, certainly we're going to have more uh, come in. Uh, from time to time. Take a quick peek at this one too, just so we're taking advantage of the time that we have on the video with you. I don't have the keys to it, so I can't open it up, but just as an example, this is a 2007 Limited model. Now, Limited is going to give you some different paint codes and stuff. So, this particular paint color, not a lot out there, kind of a nice green blue. And you're going to have alloy wheels on a Limited, you'll have leather, you'll have some other functionality you know, involved in the vehicle if you are interested in those types of. Um, amenities. Now, as a for instance, this 07 is priced the same as that other one, so you do have the extra equipment, but of course you have a higher uh, cost for that as well. But, I mean, I, I know uh, initially you were saying you're not really in any big rush, so certainly at least with this particular RAV4, which is why I wanted to give you the video, um, it's, a, it's a wonderfully, mechanically wonderfully vehicle. Um, you, there's no mystery there you know again we pointed out a couple of the cosmetic stuff and a lot of that to be fair probably if uh it was an absolutely perfect perfect condition cosmetically you might see the price a thousand dollars more as well so if uh you know you're looking to the market next couple months or something feel free to get in touch with me we'll have more of these coming down the pipeline if for some reason it did catch your attention and uh, you'd like some more information i mean i'm going to have that proposal out to you in an email that's you know just general but gives you an idea of the breakdown of taxes and cost of the vehicle and so on and so forth but you know give me a shout let me know what you think if it's closer than you thought and if not we'll keep you in mind here in the coming months as uh, we get new stuff coming in 
pretty much every week here. So really good stuff there. 802-528-2213, my direct line as always. Feel free to call me with any questions, any thoughts, concerns, or anything. Or email is really easy as well, dburns at handycars.com. But thank you again, Levi. A pleasure to offer you this video. I hope you found it helpful for you and your family. And certainly look forward to working with you now or in the future. Take care.